Hey folks, dude here, coming at you, coming at you, coming at you, and well, it's my one, one, one soda of the day. Uh, I tend to be very careful in that regard, simply because too much of any one thing is just not good. So anyway, um, post-Christmas, pre-New Year's, uh, what am I going to bring it up to you guys today? Well, a cool little piece of kit that I happen to find of all places, Wally World. And what it is, is this is literally a one, literally one dollar, three LED, you know, brim style, clip it on your, uh, your hat type of flashlight. Now, this one is new from the box, still has the little, you know, don't kill me battery tab in there. So let's pop this sucker out and see what it does. Okay, so it's, it's live. Now, the other thing too is these things, like I said, are only a buck. It's got the switch right up on top. And it's only one, two, three, one, two, three little LEDs. But man, I'll tell you what, this this thing is really surprisingly effective for a very, very, very cheap Chicom style of flashlight. Now the thing is, I know they say to put this thing on your uh, your hat and you do the, the dreaded thing and yank off the sticky. You see, it's actually got a clip there. You can clip it on your the bill of your cap and it's on board. When you need it, you can click it on and you know, all the good stuff like that there. I'm starting to think, though, this thing is so uh, ergonomically designed that pretty much you can just throw that thing right in your pocket. Two little screws, you can take the clip right off of the thing. I don't know if it's something that's technically one of those things, if you take off the two screws and guts fall out of the thing. I'm starting to think the way that the Chinese engineer anything, they want to use two parts to do four different jobs. So usually those two screws that hold this thing in will probably hold in the LED display or it'll hold the board in, it'll hold something together. So if you take this thing off, potentially it's all going to go kaplooey. So I would just probably just leave the clip on there and just kind of click it on the side of your pants pocket or drop it in your pants pocket. And it's light, man. And this thing barely is ounce, ounce and a half, not even two ounces. But what the cool thing about these things is, is if you take that tab and you put it back in place, you can throw this thing in your backpack, you know, your ready bag, your get out of Dodge bag, your SHTF bag, your TOT walkie, zombie incursion, whatever you wish to call it, everything's going to crap bag. Throw one of these things in there and it will not accidentally turn on and kill itself off in the pouch. Now, of all things, supposedly you can slide off the little door and change out the batteries. I have yet to do that, okay? This thing is really, really jammed on there pretty snug. So uh, let me see if I can't cheat this thing apart real quick and see if I can't get a look at the batteries. And it it is on like Donkey Kong. It's it's on there really, really tight. I mean, it's it's really, really tight. So much so that, you know what? I'm almost thinking about just simply not trying to take the little thing apart here. But if I do break it, it was only a buck. And it is, it, it's stuck, okay? It's, it's really, really together. So case in point, I wouldn't even really, really even try to take the batteries out of this thing. It's a buck, okay? It's pretty much almost a throwaway. If you want to go to all the time and trouble and all the rest of it to take the thing apart to get the batteries out and change it out and put a new set of batteries in, which are going to probably cost more than a dollar, I really wouldn't go that route, okay? So pretty much this thing is literally a disposable, kick-ass little flashlight. If you find them in Walmart, I literally saw these things in bins and bins. It's kind of like the really cheap uh, Christmas things. I'm tending to think there's probably still a bunch of them in there. And uh, literally, it's just about a throwaway piece. But for a dollar, could you really go wrong? You know, dollar six, seven, fifteen, whatever the hell it is with tax and whatnot. But it is literally a good little piece of kit that you could have, well, in your bag as a just in case, or also standing by in your car. I mean, the, the thing is, like in your glove box, it's going to take up no space at all. And if you're wrenching on a car, changing out a car tire or something. You know, you could actually, like, stand it on the ground, pointing at the car, you know, so it gives you some lights so you can do stuff. Point it down the road so you don't get flattened by a car. Shadow yourself so you don't get flattened by oncoming traffic. You know, there's, there's a million ways to do this and do it correctly and not get killed in the process. But um, all these little stupid little things, I mean, you can find these things in dollar stores and what have you. This one just happened to be in Walmart, and it happened to be a dollar. So always good for a price point and parcel they're in. But you know what? I'm not going to cry if something like costs me a buck and works for a while and then dies. I'm, I'm just simply going to pitch it in the trash and buy another one. Uh, so it might be a seasonal thing. I really don't know if they have a bunch more of them. You have to go and check out your local Walmart. But literally, it is like these bins of all kinds of different little flashlights. And literally, these things were a buck a piece. So can you really go wrong with a $1 flashlight that's this freaking bright? I don't think so. Because it works very, very well for what it's intended. And, well, when it's dead, you throw it away and you don't care.
All right, folks, I'm going to break off of this one. Uh, and if I don't catch you guys before year end, I do have the podcast later on, which is going to be on Facebook because Rich is still doing his things. And, of course, Around the Cabin still, unfortunately, down for the count for the moment because he's doing stuff on his timetable where he needs to do things. And I don't regret it or begrudge him one moment, one bit, or anywhere in between because, well, Rich has always been on air. And he's allowed me to take breaks when he's actually had no breaks of his own for an extended period. So on this one, folks, I guess I'll catch you guys later on on the podcast. We'll be doing on Facebook.com forward slash Do Jerky. But do be sure to check out my friends over at AroundTheCabin.com and AroundTheCabin.com forward slash Campfire for the live broadcast. And uh, I'll break up with this one. You guys have a good Monday and uh, or Tuesday. A good Tuesday. I guess I'll catch you guys later on. We're coming to you guys on, of course, Tuesday, December 27th. All good stuff like that there. And uh, I'll break up with this one. I bid you guys a good New Year's. If I don't see you then, come on by the podcast on Facebook. And I'll catch you guys later on. And good stuff like that there. Eat good, keep stuttering. As always, always, you know it, you love it. Oh, so to goodness. Mm. Never a bad thing, but always in moderation. Good times. Catch you guys later and uh, see you then. See you guys.